It's like I, I had this conversation with Larry. I will never not be NorCal. Even that's if fair. I move, I will always be NorCal. It's like you, you will always be SoCal. Yeah, that's true, that's true, man. SoCal. SoCal's always in my heart, no matter where I I mean, go. I look at I look at, I talk to Exax, he's Philly. Yeah. I don't care if he hasn't been there in years. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, that man has not been in Philly in a hot minute. Right. You know what? But you're SoCal. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm SoCal, you're NorCal, but we're both West Coast. Oh, that's that's, where that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, Anyways, here, let's talk about the bracket here coming off for Stroder and Elegant. Elegant, of course. Talk about it. Play with representation here. Got to fight out Sino. Beat him 2 0. Rango 2 0. Jumps 2 0. That's where he saw Stroder. Looking at Stroder's bracket here. Beat out UCI Mega, a player from SoCal. Okay, so this is going to be one of the finals of the pool. The winner of this is going to be moving on to winners. Loser is going to be moving on in. Yep, both players will either way make it a day two. Only one will make it onto winners, one will make it onto losers. The last time these two played, that I saw, GTX 2018. Different Ooh. game, all around. Let's go ahead and see how Elegant can do against Schroeder. That was actually some really good pressure coming out from the Zare of Elegant. It just did enough pressure onto the shield for him to go ahead and get a jab after it as well. Schroeder. Going off stage, trying to send Elegant out of there, understanding the Cyclone is going to be coming out. And Grand Ninja, just, just one of those characters that has just seen a tremendous buff going from Smash 4 into the Ultimate Engine. A dash attack sets up into a bunch of these 50-50s and also true combos into that forwarder quite a bit. I mean, we'll talk about, you know, one of the best buffs in the game. Grand Ninja finally received it. Hopefully, more more notes in 3.0, but let's see what Strider can go ahead and do here. He only taking the first stock against Elegant. It's such a mark to make here. Goes with a dash attack to confirm. Sees the check chase from the platform. Yup, and th that is just one of the hardest positions to be in when you're going against your Grand Ninja. When Grand Ninja connects that up air as out of that short hop, they actually get to choose within the first couple of hits that they want to just hit you up with the combo or drag you down and have the tech chase. Great DI coming out from Schroeder, knocking out of that Cyclone. That's not a flush anymore. That's more of a small, gentle push. I, 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 I love that from, from Schroeder. On those jab attempts that Elegant is doing, he's holding down. And because yeah. uh, Grand Ninja has a low profile, after the first two jabs, he ends up falling out. And he's able to go ahead and turn the roast, looking for the tech chase. Yo, and Luigi looks so scared. He's like, can you not? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Air dodging passes should be able to make it back. He does, but eats a bagger for his trouble. And There's a ledge trump. Schroeder waiting to see the commitment here on the ledge. He comes back. There's the forward air with the landing here. As soon as he's able to whip punish Elegant, he gets it. And Luigi off stage. That's a dangerous position to go ahead and be in. His recovery, you know, quite a, quite a bit nerfed from Smash 4 coming into Ultimate. Only really having access to the green missile uh, to have some type of horizontal recovery. Forward air just whiffing him out. We're going to see Hydro Pump. No, just running. Back in for Schroeder, trying to find his mark. Fireballs galore, trying to make sure Schroeder has to respect him on this ledge. Ends up getting to grab a down throw, leading into the Cyclone. That's going to be it. It's able to kill right there because of the blast zone. He's able to take him a little bit higher than he was on the other side. There's the forward air. Talk about sending players to the blast zone. I don't know if he got poked or if he dropped it, but nonetheless, Schroeder gets that forward air, gets that stock. In that game. Yeah. And Schroeder starts off great with game one against his fellow brethren here in arms. I mean, but you know what they say, right? Out of the game, you and I are best friends. In the game, we are enemies. Oh, no. In the game, you're catching these hands. Yeah, bro. I don't care. Yeah. If I got to play my mama on stream, I'm three-stalking her. That's, that's, that's cruel, bro. <laughs> hey, man, she, hey, you know what, though? Mama raised you right. She knows you know, someone's got to take the W for the family, say, right? I was going to say, she'd be disappointed if I didn't. I was going to say, yeah. She's like, oh, mijo, I, I'm pretty sure I raised you better. Hopefully, oh. Elegant raises himself better from that loss here, and he starts off solidly with 42%. Yeah, I mean, really, the biggest thing from Elegant is that he's trying to space out quite a bit with the plunger. With, with the Zare, I mean, so far, it, it's done a decent job, especially trying to put some pressure onto the shield. Aside from that, getting a couple of confirms right out of him, he ends up hitting it point blank. But where he's really struggling is actually sealing up these stocks. Schroeder and Grand Engine just so slippery, so hard to really just catch. Well, there's the down air calling out the low recovery and a second attempt here. He's not letting Schroeder even feel safe from the drift, but missing the mark around the top. I like the fact that he has that up smash ready to see if he was going to come with a forward air. Grand Engine just love to do that from the ledge. 
Ooh. That was such the slickest forward tilt out from Schroeder. Uh, oh. He knew exactly where Elegant was going to land, what button he was going to push, and sent him right back out there. And again, Luigi having such a bad recovery, basically. Very hard for him to c come back to the stage after that F tilt. Actually able to hold on to the stock. I thought at 150, he would lose it. Oh, almost gets the forward air, but a clanky with Elegant. That's the down tilt. Looking for another forward air. Missing the mark here. Go to patience from Stoder here because he's looking to see how Elegant will respond. And Elegant responds in kind. Two stock for two stock. Stoder with the adjustment. Switching to all range mode here in the seats. Yeah, Stroder is just going for a lot more of these mid punishes. Trying to stay out the range of Elegant. But Elegant barely missing that falling up air. That's unfortunate. If it connected, he was going to go for the short Yukon right afterwards on the sweet spot. Was so close to sniping him up from the side. Ooh, yeah, that one. Hydro <laughs> pop pushing him underneath the stage. Elegant unable to grab that ledge. There, almost into the dash attack. Elegant response here with the get off the option. Yeah, and the side the cyclone cyclone. actually, yeah, it clanked out the dash attack attempt. Shoulder on his way, moving on through the winner side of the bracket right now. And the hardest part about this, this is best of threes. There's no best of fives here until tomorrow. Day one, Stro looking. Stroder is just recognizing what he can and can't do. He sees that Elegant's trying to use D uh, to get that grab. Yeah. Uh, with that plunger, unfortunately, not enough range on it. Trying to make some things happen. And Shadow Sneak, the aerial forward smash just to hit him and get that stock. <laughs> it's strong. The disappearing act. Greninja is such a cool character design. I'm yeah. happy he's good now. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that one. I, he was actually my favorite Pokemon in uh, X and Y. Even Sakurai said, man, I never picked this character because he was cool. I just thought he was... I didn't I, know I'm, just, I'm just happy he's staying true to Pokemon now because he's banned in real Pokemon. Yeah, he is. He's broken. <laughs> he's broken. He's broken. And he's actually broken in his own and yeah, in Pokemon. I just hope. I just wish he had protein in this one. <laughs> I wish Shelligan had a little bit of protein himself. He's looking a little bit down, you know, taking the loss to his friend. Meditation, man.